Welcome to a very snowy Calgary. It's been cold. I'm crazy for riding, but with the right gear, I'm warm. It's just that my tires aren't touring tires, so they need a little bit of heat for them to work. And uh, it's cold outside, guys. It is cold. Well, as you can see, there's snow everywhere. Uh, but this is an update video for um, for what I'm going to be doing next summer in this ex exciting. I can't even talk. My lips are so cold. Blah, blah, blah. Exciting opportunity. And that is the LTU Emoto race team. I've been invited to be their rider for the 2018-2019 season. <laughs> Look at this snow, guys. Test ride and then eventually race in their, um, they have a university like race series. Oh yeah, this is fun. <laughs> that sketch though. <laughs> and uh, they're building an electric bike from the ground up. Absolutely insane. So thank you for the team for inviting me to be on board. I accepted it, you know, months ago, but now I can finally release it. They have a little bit of a fundraiser going on just to make some bucks. They have a little fundraiser going on that they want me to uh, promote. So if you have a few extra bucks, help the team out. It's a bunch of university students. Uh, they're not getting funded uh, as much as they they would like. So we had to do a little bit of a fundraiser. Oh, this would be a crazy photo. I can't wait to take this. You guys are going to freak when you see this with all the snow. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful out there. So yeah, like it's gonna be absolutely insane. I got to ride a bike they're making for this race series. It's all electric. As you guys know, I love electric vehicles, Teslas and whatnot. I think it's definitely gonna be the future. And uh, yeah, a little update there. So I'll put the links in the description below. Check it out, check them out. Oh my God, this is gonna be fucking fun right here, boys. Sliding like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> yeah, see, that's why I stick to the main roads when I do these winter rides. Stick to the main roads because they're cleared and they're dry. They're not wet and gross. Here's a spot I know I took my photos at. I don't think we're going to be getting up there today. <laughs> oh, maybe we could. Haha, we did it! Oh, look at my bike, it's disgusting. Oh, you guys are pretty clean. Oh yeah, look at her, she's messy. Looks so good. Look at that, McLaren's out blasting around. I'm not the only crazy guy. <laughs> Man, she is a little messy. That's okay, we'll give her a nice clean. Man, what happens when you buy old cars and think they're cool? Ah, you get those douchebags. Anyways, so a lot of people ask me what I wear. When I go touring, I wear all textile. Why is that, do you ask? Because I can clean it easily. Throw it in the washer, done. Whereas with leather, you can't clean it. You gotta wipe it and it's annoying. So dusty environments, uh, anything but dry street riding. You gotta wear textile. And I love it. I'm nice and warm. Now let's get home before this stuff turns into ice. All right, boys and girls, here's Crescent Hill. Look at all the snow. Yes, my hands are not cold because I have my heated grips on, so factory heated grips. One's in their winter jackets and gloves. Like, what is this guy doing on his bike? <laughs> That's funny. Only Snowcat would do motor vlogging in the winter. No one else is out on their bikes, only this crazy idiot. <laughs> it is going to get dangerous though because it is now 4.30, so the temperature starts dropping off immediately the second the sun goes away. So I have to get uh, home ASAP because then it'll be stupid. It'll just be dangerous. You can't tell if water is water or ice. Oh yeah, one more thing that I forgot to mention. That means I'm also going for my race license. For this uh, Emoto series, you have to be, um, I think AHMRA, American something or other. Uh, we have the C 
CMRA or CMRA, Canadian Motorcycle Racing Association. And we're trying to figure out if I can get my CMRA license and be okay to race down there. We're trying to figure that out. So either which way, I got some exciting news just there by itself. I get to go and get, I finally get my race license, get my, that next level riding, you know, training and riding and all this stuff. So like color me super, super excited just for that. Oh look, I'm not the only crazy guy. What's up, brother? <laughs> but he's on a touring bike with touring tires. Something very cool. If you didn't know about my city, we have lane reversal. So for rush hour going out of the city, they have three lanes coming out, as you can see. Uh, so our lanes get used uh, for there. So I cannot go in this lane right now. And that's uh, denoted by the X's above the top. And so many people mess it up, man. I've seen so many... Uh, near misses let's say because of this reversal <laughs> all right so let's wrap that video up a little update video about ltu guys super oh man like the content i can't wait to share the building of the bike the testing it the racing it like it's gonna be epic like epic i'm so excited anyways we'll end the video that's a little update video for y'all and uh, we'll see you in the next one boys and girls peace look at this brand new rdx Making mine look like it's 10 years old. No! What a good looking SUV, guys. What a good looking SUV. Here's that McLaren guy we saw earlier wrapping around. He's just doing laps.